Welcome in and welcome back. Now today's video is a compilation video that details why men are done with and walking away from relationships, dating and marriage. Now if you like this type of content, you can support by subscribing to the channel, liking and sharing the video. I would like to apologize in advance to my friends and family because this summer I will in fact be a whore. When's the last time you had Three months ago. Three months? Why has it been so long? I don't know. Like, none of these people are worthy enough. A few moments later. What's All your right. craziest confession? My mom was in the room right next to me, right? Okay. And there was five dudes at my house, okay? Okay. All of them trained. Jesus Christ. Five. Yeah, my mom didn't even care. Yeah. Five dudes. That's what's f***ed up. That's... <laughs> none of these people are worthy What is your body count? Um... Honestly, I lost count. Where are all of the hot men? I don't know who needs to hear this this morning, but this is your sign to go be a hoe. That's something your parents don't know about you. But I'm a hoe. <laughs> How many guys did you have sex with? 56. The only time having a boyfriend is worth it is when he is able to fully support you and pay all your bills. I've learned that my type is boys that don't want me. When I went to college, I was like, I need to go balls to the walls and f all these men. Why would I bring anything? I'm not bringing anything to the table. I'm not bringing a fucking thing to the table. I have herpes. I'm literally like, I think I'm sleeping with like over 20 people this week. <laughs> I successfully sued my sperm donor and now I get 40% of his paycheck. I, I did things with the guy who treated me like a princess and would have been the best husband to me. No one talks about divorcing a good guy. I've been divorced twice, both of which were my decision. I snuck out so many times and fucked so many dudes, right? I hate a man who know they work because that just is aggravating. I'd rather be with him and he treat me horribly wrong than be with you and you treat me right. not understanding about my hatred for men is that I still like men, okay? I will hate on them till I die. You couldn't pay me enough to post something positive about them. I only want you for the money and the clothes and for the bills. That's it. I have a really big problem because I may not like you, but I do need you to be in love with me. I, I like, I need it. If you're bad at saving money, clap your hands. If you're bad at saving money, clap your hands. If you're bad at saving money because you didn't think you'd live this long. Girls only dress like that for male validation. No, it's for male manipulation. I'd rather have a broke faithful guy or a rich cheater. Rich cheater, easily, yeah. Like, he was amazing. He was so perfect, great. And I was like, well, this is boring. As a man, why are you blocking me? My favorite thing about being super innocent looking is that no one guesses that I'm a little slut. Bring three things to the table. Um, anxiety, overthinking, and irrational thoughts. I was just gonna see if I could grab your number. I'll be giving out my number for free. Oh, it costs to get your number? How much we talking? Solid. What? <laughs> 7,300 men in a period of 10 years. In a period of 10 years. Yo kitu. Na urukuna who the hell sends pictures of your kids to your ex about a car? Because he was there for me when your ass was in Arizona. Well, if you'd stop laying on your back for other guys, maybe I wouldn't have to leave. I don't. She told me on my birthday that she wanted me to come home. And I asked her, I said, well, if you're going to, if you want me to come home, you're going to be honest with me. And she tells me that same day that she six different guys in a two-month period a pot smoking slut oh, is that true yes it and i true. was honest with him it's true okay carrie what's making you emotional pretty much everything bro it's just a mistake she literally getting her fucking the book 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 literally getting dug out raw raw are you overwhelmed Yes. Yeah. Heart. Yeah. You're raising the kids. You're every time he's left for Arizona, it's... But yet every time I've left for Arizona, two days later, you have a different in the house. No, I don't. I know exactly who that's it is. That's a long time ago. Oh, get the that. No, that's been a while. Go oh. You think...
think the bride-to-be is cheating on her husband at the bachelorette party? I mean, I personally wouldn't, but I think the bride-to-be does. I think you guys know somebody that did this. Keep it real. <laughs> Our friend Jenna. Your friend Jenna? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jenna cheated on her husband? Yeah. She actually, like, last night. Last night? <laughs> yeah. How many times? Like, multiple. <laughs> what do you think goes down at a bachelorette? A lot of dirty things. So maybe some dildos, strippers, you know. Maybe a little bit of cheesing on your husband, just a little bit. Minimal, 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 maybe kiss. He was the nicest boyfriend that I've ever had, like to date. He was such a sweet, kind-hearted boy and just cared about me so much. And I, the reason that we broke up is I literally sat down one day just sitting in my room and I was like, wow, I don't actually like this kid. I just like how much he likes me. Oh. I don't actually like oh. him. I just like that he likes me so much. That's fucking brutal. Is, isn't that sad? So basically he was drying your pussy up being too nice. Yeah, and we didn't even... We would like dry up and make up for hours. You're hearing it here, everybody. <laughs> this is what dudes need to hear. <laughs> dudes need to hear this shit. Soccer player Kaka's ex-wife says, Kaka never betrayed me. He treated me well. He gave me a wonderful family, but I was not happy. Something was missing. The problem was he was too perfect for me. Uh, Andrew, your reaction? Uh, yeah, it's all but too common. So we see this happen over and over and over again where we'll see these women, especially with high profile men, say this kind of stuff, right? Oh, I just, you know, I just don't like him anymore. Conveniently enough, they also happen to not like him and walk off with millions of dollars of his mm. money. So yes. it makes me think maybe there's an ulterior motive behind it other than I just don't feel the spark. I mean, sure, he's rich and good <laughs> and everything that I ever wanted, but walking away, I can basically now go hook up with whoever I want and have millions of dollars of his money. So I don't know if you can it assume. seems like a strong ulterior motive. 80% of suicides are male. The vast majority of all deaths of despair are male. Another piece that really fits with what we're talking about today is a, a man is four times more likely than a woman to suicide. A divorced dad is eight times more likely to suicide than a divorced mom. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I've seen so many more women cheat. And being a woman myself, I get to be an insider to the things that women talk about. And yes, they will admit to one another that they cheat, but you will never hear an ounce of remorse. They always victimize themselves. What they'll say is, instead of saying, you know what, I cheated, it was wrong. Um, it was dishonest of me, it was betrayal, and I'll never do it again. What you will hear is, well, I cheated because I had to, he wasn't giving me what I needed and what I deserved as a woman. And all the other women will, you know, jump right in and, you know, be victims and victimize her saying, oh, you poor thing, um, he should have treated you better, you take care of his kids and you do this and you do that and he should have appreciated you more and you wouldn't have had to go screw another man. But it's it's really uh, quite scary how they do that, but they, they're never remorseful and they always shift the